guys. Uh, welcome to your October 2022 prediction reading uh, for cancer. Uh, this, is, this can be in any replacements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So um, we're going to take a look and see what's going on uh, for you guys in October, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to look out for, uh, what you need to work on. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, uh, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me um the link for that is in the description box below, okay? So Cancer, let's get started here. Tell me about Cancer. What's going on with Cancer in October? What is surrounding Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? What can Cancer expect for uh, October? What's going on for Cancer in October? What does Cancer need to know in October? With the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there you are right there, Cancer. In the Six of Cups, seems like you're having nostalgia here. Seems like you're looking back at the past. I mean, you could be looking back at your childhood here. You could be looking back at, you know, what next here. It seems like you're missing somebody, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. Queen of Cups, there you are. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Okay. I, I, some of you guys might be physically moving away to a new home. Uh, it could be a situation that, you know, you know, you're looking back at the past, you're having nostalgia, uh, you know, uh, perhaps you're leaving the home that you grew up in or something like that, and you're moving on to a new home, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. We have the Three of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it seems like there is going to be some sort of celebration here, okay? Uh, I feel like, you're, you know, for the month of October, you know, you could be uh, in this energy of putting yourself out there and meeting new people, uh, perhaps people at work also, okay? Seems like there's a lot of, seems like there's a lot of planning that's happening here for you, Cancer, okay? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Four of Swords, yeah. I feel like you're heavily thinking about the past here. Uh, Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles here. Um, so, Cancer, for the month of October, there's a lot on your plate here. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you're looking, you're looking for a break. Yeah, you're looking for a break here. Uh, the Eight of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, the uh, Four of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Oh, seems like there's a new love coming in, into your life here. Could be a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. Whoever this is, this person might spice up your life a little bit. Okay, this person might give you the excitement that you're looking for here, the adventure that you're, lo you're looking for uh, to help, per perhaps help you move past or, or uh, 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 you know, some things that you've been thinking of, okay? Uh, to perhaps distract yourself, um, maybe take your mind off something here, but, you know, there is an energy of definitely thinking about the past a lot here, okay? Uh, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. The King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. The Three of Pentacles. No, the Three of Cups and the King of Cups. Wow. You know, regarding new love, you might be meeting a person, you know, just out and about. Okay, we, have, we do have the King to the Queen of Cups here. And then we have the King of Swords. This is someone that you might meet at work. Yeah. This is someone that you might meet at work. Seems like there's a lot going on for you, Cancer, but I, I just feel like you're heavily thinking about the past here. 
you know, I feel like the energy of all, you know, being all grown up and sort of like moving forward, you know, moving out on your own or something like that, because I'm getting the energy that some of you guys might be moving, moving out of your parents' homes. So I feel like these are, you know, maybe younger folks, younger individuals, perhaps even older, maybe, maybe some of you guys move back in with your parents to save money uh, because of the pandemic or something like that. Uh, but, you know, there's an energy of definitely moving on. Um, let's see, what else is, what else do we have here for cancer? What else do we have here for cancer for the, uh, month of October? What do you need to look out for and work on? So King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the, um, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be meeting a new soulmate here. Hit the Page of Cups here and Temperance. More of your energy showing up here. Could be dealing with another Cancer. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Cups, Sagittarius energy with temperance. We have the world here and the King of Pentacles. Okay. It does seem like you're letting go of the past here. And I feel like you're starting over again. Okay. Because I feel like there are two new people here that's in the picture. Uh, perhaps this King of Pentacles, this, this, this is an ex that might have unfinished business here. And they might try and come back. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Devil and Ace of Wands here. Wow. Whoever this is, someone here definitely is obsessed with you. And I do feel like one other person, new person, that's someone here is going to come in and like I said, they're going to spice up your life a little bit. Okay. Uh, Page of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Temperance and the Three of Wands here. You know, I feel like moving forward, you're really going to be focusing on your happiness here. Focus on healing. Focus on your peace and balance here. Moving towards the future. Okay? I do feel like you're taking a new opportunity here for yourself. You know, perhaps there's... I'm, I'm getting like a side gig sort of thing where you guys might do artwork here. Okay? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, you're planting those seeds and waiting for sh those ships to sail in. I feel like your passion really has to do with art, but I feel like you might be doing some type of work that you're not really enjoying, but it pays the bills. Okay? The world. The moon. King of Pentacles and judgment. Yeah, there is someone that, that, that from your past that you're thinking of. Uh, you know, I do feel like in a way, sometimes when you think of something or think of someone, they do come back around. And I feel like this person's coming back around for a reconciliation because I feel like this person is scared or this person fears losing you. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, judgment, uh, Sagittarius energy here. There's a lot of people in the picture here. Yeah. And I feel like there are two new people, okay, uh, and one past person, all right? Tell me about the devil, you have the five of cups, the ace of wands, and the ten of cups here. Wow, we have an emperor here too. That's four? Seems like there's new opportunities for new love, and I feel like, you know, one of these individuals might, like I said, might spice up, uh, spice up your life a little bit, okay? So, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, I feel like we have someone here that's coming in with an apology, okay? Basically, the way that they behaved with you, um, I do feel like this person cheated on you, okay? I do feel like you might have even have been married to this individual or have children with this individual, and this person regrets treating you very poorly. Uh, but I feel like there's a ton of new coming in for you, okay? So, um, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.